Are you ready? Yeah! I want to know, is everybody ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. Hey, now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby back from The Difference is Doing It. Okay, here's what we're back with. Another diss that tutorial, right? <laughs> here we go. This one, look, this one, it's special to me. All right, because this is this is the first disc I've made for myself in I don't know how long. I don't remember the last one. This last year, honestly, it's been mostly a blur of just trying to keep up with all the disc dies for all of you out there in the TDD army and everything that's going on. I'm not trying to make that sound like a complaint because mm, it's awesome. But nonetheless, the year ended with me making uh, Garbage Pail Kid discs as Christmas gifts Ooh, that was a tough one to get right out. Garbage Pail Kids discs. Woo! Garbage Pail Kids discs for all of the boys as Christmas presents. I'm gonna get it out. It's gonna take maybe four or five tries. But nonetheless, the year ended with me making Garbage Pail Kids discs as Christmas gifts for all the boys. I'll start scrolling them by my face right there. They don't, they don't even sniff the new bar that has been set by the lovely Miss Tiffany Shaw with the mixed up Mitch disc that she posted recently. It's insane. But I am super duper proud of them. I'm super duper proud of them. And the set had to be completed, right? It had to be completed. So about a month or so ago, I whipped up one for old man Bob Cobb. Here, she, here he is sitting on the turntable here. Oh, what a, holy cow, that glare is tough. All right, that's kind of good. I should just put a picture up on the screen. I'm gonna do them both, okay? Anyway, I took some artistic liberties with this guy. It's it's not called Bob Cobb, it's called DJ. But come on, the image was just too perfect of the turntable straightening out his crooked dome, right? I mean, come on. Then uh, a couple weeks back, we touched up the backside with a little spin die, which, you know, came out awesome. I'm stoked about it. That's her. You know, it's it's... It's already seen the course a couple times. It lives in my bag where it belongs. And that's where it's gonna stay until I knock off an ace with it, which is gonna happen. It's out there, I'm telling you. It's out there. All right, but we came here for a tutorial, right? That's what we got next. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. Every step I took, just like I always do, I was able to super speed smash this one down in under 10 minutes with a hot beat that I put behind it and you know like I said I'll walk you through all of it but here's like what the deep dive is this time the stuff that's like we're gonna focus on first it's like mixing up the beds with air instead of like pokers and forks and afro picks now when I'm talking both about compressed air I got this little guy can you hear it off of Amazon it does the compressed air thing right there just fills it up on itself doesn't need a tube or to hook up to anything and then, you know, the good old fashioned way, just the two and you know, all that kind of stuff. It works, it works pretty good, all right? And then the other thing that we're gonna hit on is shading and a couple different methods for it. I'm getting better at this, it took me a while, but like building up layers of colors to make shading and then just going right over top of stuff and blending that out with grays and silvers and blacks even, okay? And then, you know, we'll go over pinstripes and fades and stuff for the backspin and finish it up and then, you know, we're taking this thing right to Boomtown. That's where, that's where this train is headed again. Boomtown. But that's that's more than enough, as usual, of the blah, 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 blah portion of the show. I'm going to be back in like a week or so with the results on the Funky Disco Vortex disc giveaway. Pa! That's him right there. If you haven't gotten in on that yet, I'll put a link up here. I always forget what's that. Just hit that sucker and boom, you can get on. You got a couple more days and you're in there. I'm already working on March's disc art giveaway. It's going to double as another episode of Other Basement Disc Dyers. And I've already talked about this a little bit, but this one is hitting the hot spot question that I get all the time, which is how to do all the button pushing and such to make like a picture turn into a stencil real good on the computer that you can work with. And we got a pro for this one. You're going to love it. Here's, here's, the last thing I'll say before I'm gonna before I let you go, okay? Pretty please, keep tagging your pictures of your work with hashtag TDDArmy on Instagram, okay? Because, damn, 
because, damn, I don't know about you boys and girls, but that is like, it's, it is now, it's my personal favorite spot to go for inspiration because some of you guys are killing it. Like whenever I'm, I'm like, whenever I need it, I need a little, mm, give me some, insp I, that's where I go. Maybe <laughs> yeah, it's too much, but here's what I'm trying to say. Keep feeding it. Keep feeding it. Take a picture of your mm, stuff that makes you feel real good. And then put it on the hashtag T Diddy Army so that we can all check it out and that I can keep getting the inspiration I need to keep doing this thing. All right? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's switch over. Let's switch over to the doing it portion of the program. Like I said, I'm going to be back in about a week with the results for the Funky Disco Vortex. In between now and then, you better keep doing it.
Oh. Heartbreaker. Oh. 